Hi guys, this is Jackie Cooper and with J. Cooper Travels and I am so excited to have you back today and I'm so excited to have here Tim King. He has a remarkable story. He's been involved with so many different projects and he has a wealth of wisdom that he's going to share with us both on the financial side as well as on the traveling side. Tim, thank you so much for joining us today. Would you like to tell a little bit more about the company that you're involved with and um, some of the things that you uh, are doing? Thanks for having me. Uh, pleasure. Um, my company, the platform that I work from is PHP, it stands for People and Helping People. And I give people options. I work with families, individuals, small businesses, corporations. Um, I can offer them options that put them in a better financial situation now and in the future. Um, all these strategies we give, I give also give um, complimentary financial education and, and services. And with that being said, that there's a whole host of things that you can do um, associated with the platform so I'm not captive. So I go out and I, I market for um, 70 plus different, um, different billion dollar companies that uh, fight for my business. And so my boss is actually my clients and not the companies that I market for. So I give people options, uh, like I said, to give them better um, financial situations now and in the future and teach them how to create generational wealth, uh, which is sorely lacking in this country. Um, especially now. So when people are, are looking for searching for that thing, um, I also offer a way that you can start your own business and offer those to other people as well. Yep, we have talked about that. Um, so the um, when someone comes to you, what's like maybe the first few questions that you ask them or that they ask you? Um, yeah, that's a good question because um, you have to make that connection. Um, that's the first for that's part of the five C's and we won't get into that. But I actually, the first thing is getting in connection with the person and just asking questions, um, seeing what they're about, um, see what their wants, needs and goals and desires are and try to fit them up with an overall plan. I don't try to sell them a product. I try to give them a plan and map out, um, like I said, get you in a better financial situation now and in the future. So that takes planning. So there's an overall um give you a full care package, as we say, and uh, put together something that will sustain you. And not only just going in and doing that for you and forgetting about you, I come back every year on anniversary day when we establish those plans and we do what's called a follow-up. We do a um, annual review. And because people's needs change from year to year, sometimes you, you'll get married, you'll have kids, you'll have grandkids or whatever. And then you might have a need that you hadn't foreseen that um, we need to explore and see if we can take care of it. So you had um, mentioned that um, th that you have been involved with this as a career. How has this changed you? This is um, a, a part of the journey that I could not imagine. Um, it's only second to being a single father as far as growth and, and finding out who you really are, because this will, being an entrepreneur in itself is, is, is something that's a challenge and it's, it's a lifelong challenge, but being somebody that's going out and helping people um, when people are so skeptical these days and everybody's tribal and everybody's um, very uh, leery of each other to get somebody to op first of all, open up to you and then open up their finances to you. And so you can put, give them some options. Um, a lot of people are very skeptical. And what I come to find is I had to level myself up because I consider myself a leader, but I'm not a leader because I'm making you a leader. Some people have to volunteer because anybody that comes to my organization is a volunteer army. And I teach them to grow and be a better person and become the best version of themselves with the leadership program that we have attached and self um, development that you have to have to be a leader. So you have to have that component in there. And so people will find you credible and you have to be a student of the business in order to gain that credibility. It has to be earned. You can't just demand it. It has to be earned and that's giving of yourself. So you have to take yourself out of the equation 
in order to be the best version of yourself because if you keep growing and learning like any living thing does um you'll reach new heights does that make sense yeah so from what you've shared so far it sounds like there's two two paths or two avenues there's individuals who come to you who are clients who need support and help and then there are also uh possible job opportunities um by participating with um, you and the company. So mm -hmm. uh, for those that might be looking for that type of opportunity, what kind of steps would they need to take? Well, first of all, um, I just want to correct you just a little bit. You're on the right track. That is true. Um, overall, that is true. But um, we don't offer jobs. I have nobody. I have no employees and right. we're my, all business my, owners. My mistake on using that no, that's theology. No, that's fine. That's fine. Yeah. It's, it's just a normal terminology. We say what kind of jobs. We just It's just in our lexicon, right? Yeah, right. So exactly. So we, we just say that. Uh, but to be clear, there's no jobs available. Um, I have business partners. Exactly. And when I bring them in, I guarantee them one thing. Um, if you meet me halfway, we will we will um, develop you and help you grow into the best version of yourself so you can be independent and you can do that for others because it says people helping people. Literally, that's what we do. And to have that and to say that we are that, we have to be that. So you have to take yourself out of the equation. I'm, I've been involved. There's five different um, lucrative um, occupations you can have. You can be in science, you can be an engineer, you can be in medicine. You can do law or you can work in finance. This is my third iteration. I wasn't a scientist. My dad wanted me to be a doctor. Um, I chose a different path. I started out in engineering in school. I studied architecture. And then when I got into the work world, I eventually worked my way up into it being an engineer, uh, building things and being out there in the field. So I was a paralegal at one time. So I did study law and I did that for a number of years, um, being a um, paralegal, patent litigation and working in-house counsel for some high-tech companies. Um, now I'm into finance. And now that I know of the five lucrative uh, occupations, um, if you control money, you control all five, basically, because everything functions off of money. So with that being said, um, there's lots of opportunities um, available to that because it doesn't matter what kind of government you have. It doesn't matter what kind of system of government you have or system, uh, economic system. If you control the money, you control the whole system. And with that being said, you can use your powers for good or you can use your power for evil. I choose to do the good part because that way you can encompass more people and nobody suffers. Exactly, exactly. So yeah, so everybody wins. And that's my goal for everybody to win with my clients, my business partners, um, and people that are that came before me. Because if I do do it, they do well. And so everybody wins, I push them up, they pull me up. And it's and people say, Well, that's a pyramid scheme. I said, Well, look at the what you're in right now. And I ask them, what is it about your business? That's not a pyramid? I so said, you have a, a president or a CEO if it's publicly traded business, um, um, whatever it is, if it's service or goods, and you have C-level executives, and then you have presidents, and you have vice presidents, and you have regional presidents and regional managers, and then you have employees at the bottom. What does that look like? Everybody's in a pyramid. It's a legal pyramid. I can't be a pyramid because I'm highly regulated by, by the, each state that I, that I work in. I have to be registered in each state. And I'm regulated by the federal government. Yeah. And so with that being said, I can't be, um, I can't be a Ponzi scheme because that's illegal. And I'm not going to risk my license and my livelihood to try to rip somebody off for a couple of hundred dollars when I have bigger sites ahead of me. I have bigger goals than that. Um, I, I just wouldn't do that because that's not my nature. And this thing is born out of me having to deal with the same thing everybody's dealing with now. When the economy went bad in 2008, I lost half of my, half of my retirement and annuity in my business, you know, what I'm occupation as an engineer. Um, I, the more questions that I asked, the less I liked the answers. And then when I was introduced to the concepts in this business, it was a no brainer. And that was four and a half years ago. And I've never looked back. In 2018, I quit my job because I started out part-time. And, and I made a decision in 2018 that I was going to do this full-time. 
And I was with another IMO. I was with another company at the time. And then I left there and came here because I saw the opportunity was better. And it was younger and it was more flexible and it gave me more autonomy. And with that being said, I was being, I was able to be more creative, even just being doing this, what we're doing right now. I was shunned for doing this kind of thing. I started doing, um, doing my appointments on uh, Zoom and uh, social media and different platforms. First I was doing it on Skype and then I was doing it on here in this, in this medium and I was shunned for it. And then a DECA millionaire came to visit and he did a, um, a lecture. And the first question he asked the, the whole room, there was about 200 people in the room. He said, how come you're not, how come you're not leveraging social media more? And you know, I remember it vividly because it was on my birthday. And I said, I've been vindicated. This guy is worth about a couple of, couple hundred million dollars. And he's asking him how come that, you know, something I had been doing for two years at the time. How come you guys aren't embracing that? How come you're not doing it? And so with that being said, um, people change their minds. And it's nice to be ahead of the curve for a change and be a leader in something. And going off and, and, and being validated like that, it felt great. But um, you, and sometimes when you're leading, that means you're doing things that other people aren't doing and they don't understand it. And eventually minds are changed and, and ways of thinking are, are changed. And if it's all good, it helps everybody. But now I'm ahead of the curve. I've been doing it for a while. And um, I have a lot of people that are connected with me on social media, a, a lot of people. So and that came from that came from working at it, putting in the work. Of course. So um, just so everyone knows who's listening, there'll be contact information both above the podcast as well as above the YouTube. So um, if you're interested in, in reaching out to learn more about the business opportunity, you can do that. Um, how does one become a client? Um, just reach out to me. You can contact me on LinkedIn. I'm on Facebook. I'm on Shaper. I'm on Instagram. You can contact me in those uh, mediums. Um, Tim King, it's not, there's no cipher or with the name. Maybe on Instagram it's spelled a little bit different because my name was taken already. Um, uh, King T, I think I believe it is, or just just type in Tim King and it'll come up. Um, well, there'll be contact information for sure. So we'll make it yes. easy. And the other thing I want to mention to everyone who's listening or watching is that Tim has created a really great resource, a free PDF. So when you uh, reach back out to me, um, it will have his contact information on it and I'll be able to send you the free PDF. So I do ask that, you know, to make it easier for you, uh, remember to subscribe to my YouTube and my podcast. That way you can always um, have easy, fast access to all the freebies and goodies, especially what uh, Tim has created. Um, I also know, uh, Tim, that, uh, I mean, you know that I love to travel and we're in the travel space here. Oh, yeah. And yes. I know that you told me that you traveled when you were younger because your family uh, uh, was in the military. Mm -hmm. um, tell me about some of your dream uh, bucket list trips, because I know I shared the uh, Go For Less platform and there's a lot of great opportunities on that, but where do you want to go next? Um, yeah, that's very good. I started my background. I was born in on a military base in DC. My dad was working in the Pentagon for five years. And then um, before I was three years old, we got whisked away to Europe. And that's where I started uh, my education. Um, they start you out early in, um, in Great Britain. Um, I was in outside of London. I was living in Middlesex where my younger sister was born. And ever since then, we've been traveling, the family's been traveling ever since my mom and dad got married when he got into the military. So there are some things that um, came up. I wanted to visit um, Tunis, um, Malta. I uh, wanted to visit um, Morocco and Ethiopia. And because those places fascinate me because of the historical content and just they're, they're too beautiful. I do want to visit uh, Egypt too. Uh, my brother told me about uh, floating down the Nile at night and it's all lit up and it's just exciting. So I'm looking forward to it. Plus we have incentive travel um, with our companies too. And um, I want to make little mini, mini vacations. So I took a survey with the, with my team and they said that um, I gave them some choices and everybody nominated their choice. And I said, Hey, has anybody ever heard of Turks and Caicos? <laughs> and I'd showed some, and then I put on the screen and shared with everybody. I said, well, look at this, look at this, look at this, this and look at that. And so everybody was like, yeah. <laughs> so that's my um, travel destination. We're going to put up 
and we're going to try to make an incentive travel uh, destination of uh, uh, Turks and Caicos. That and everything sounds great. Is, everything opens back up again. I'm looking forward to that. Yeah, me too. I'm definitely um, making a, a checklist of all the various places I want to go to that have been temporarily paused while we're in our staycations. So um, I really appreciate your being here. Any last minute thoughts that you want to share before we log on out of the podcast? Yes. Um, if you have any, if you're looking for an opportunity and you want a, um, a viable um, recession proof business that you can grow with and you can, there's no limits. 51% um, or 53%, no, 51% of our, um, our agents are women. 51% um, of those are um, either Hispanic or Latin. Um, and it's very diverse. We're very young. It's a very young um, company. It's, it's less than 11 years, about 11 years old now. Um, the the guy that started that the CEO, he's an entrepreneur. His name is Patrick Bed David. And he started, he's um, he's from the Middle East. He's from Syria or Iran, excuse me. And he became a naturalized citizen and he was doing trades. Um, his first day on the job as a trader, 9-11 uh, happened. And then so that decimated the uh, financial sector for a little while. And then he went on to another um, platform and then he left that and started this business. He found some really good um, investors. And the, the investors um, say that their money, that their rate of return that they're getting on this business um, is the most lucrative of, out of all their investments. So this business is growing. We work with billion dollar companies that we market for. And we, give, we go out and help people um, with their needs, wants, and desires. And we do that by just listening. So we talk to people and we listen to what they want, find out what their goals, needs, wants, and desires are. And we try to fit a plan that caters to them instead of working, being captive with one company. We, we offer so much more, a greater variety of options. And so we can fit that, what that client needs. And so it's just listening. And anybody wants an opportunity, we'll just sit down and talk to it and see where you're at. You have to qualify. There's a qualifying process to it um, because we're, regulated, highly regulated by each state that we, um, um, that we operate in. And just like a doctor or a lawyer, we have to be licensed. And we have a background check every time I get appointed to a new um, marketing opportunity for a company, I go through a background check. So I have to, everything has to be above board. So there's no, there's, there's no under the table stuff. There's no deviation. There's no lying. There's no deception. There's nothing like that. And uh, that's the biggest misconception is people are skeptical about it because they hear so many bad things about people that work with money. And maybe to some degree that's, that's warranted, but we're not with this, we're different. And we're revolutionizing the way that financial services is distributed in this country. And we're going beyond. We are also in uh, Puerto Rico. I just made contact with somebody in Puerto Rico two days ago. And uh, we can do business there as well. But my vision is to be in several different countries and so we can project this opportunity overseas and that's gonna take a lot of people. I need a lot of people to get make, make that happen. A person can make it, you can make money by yourself, but you can go so much further with, with other people. You can leverage out other people to help you get there and you work together to strive for a goal and there's nothing you can't do. There's literally nothing that you can't do on this, on this planet. That's very for sure. I mean, there's um, your, um opportunity um is a great one um the ones that i'm in with i go for less is a great one there are a lot of different yes. and i will be uh, looking forward to working with you too yeah <laughs> for there sure are a lot of, there are a lot of great opportunities for for individuals um in a variety of businesses that can create alternative streams of income and mm -hmm. One of the reasons why I created the podcast is to share the variety of opportunities that everyone has access to. So that way, um, whether it's during this time period or in the future, everyone can uh, find something that resonates with them. So um, definitely, you know, um, my listeners, please look at the bottom of the, uh, the screen, either above or below the YouTube or the podcast for the contact information. Um, and thank you so much, Tim, for being here. I look forward to future topics with you. Um, this yes, has been great. Absolutely. And yes. um, thanks everyone for listening to Jay Cooper Travels, and we will talk soon.